Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. We are doing some Mario Maker 2 again. And instead of the hot courses, we're going to be doing the popular courses just to spice things up, I guess. So I guess we'll be doing, uh, like, we'll just be going down the list just because I think that's what I did for the previous video as well. I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, this one is Art Single Player. It looks like it says just 1-3. guess that's just the original mario which is a uh, pretty cool i guess okay let's see how this goes out so i am using a gamecube controller which i'm trying to get used to i'm using the stick right now but usually i use the d-pad i'm using this controller just because it has the d-pad i don't have any other controller that i can actually use that has a d-pad not what i meant to do I'm also adding a little bit of a color correction to the video, so hopefully it's not too, uh, like, it's not bad. I'm not adding it in editing, I'm actually adding it in OBS, so it should look like what I'm seeing in my TV, which isn't that bad. Like, it's not too color corrected, like, hopefully it should look about the same. But, I don't actually know, because when I watch it, it'll probably look overly color corrected for me so i'll probably have to like put it on my other monitor because obviously well i don't know if i should say obviously as if you guys know but uh the color correcting that i have it's not really color correcting it's just like uh color settings on my monitor so if i have both of those color corrected it's just gonna look overly saturated i guess so i guess we gotta do that Weird, I don't remember Big Koopas for some reason. It's been a been a while since I've actually played this, I guess. Okay, we win. Nice. That's a pretty cool level. I like these like short and sweet kind of levels. Although could have been done a lot sooner. Not that I'm claiming to be some super speedy expert or anything like that. This one seems to be just an auto Mario level, so I'm gonna set the controller down and not hit my keyboard because I almost just did that and see what we actually have going for this level oh not auto Mario we gotta do this first huh oh okay start okay you gotta get through the first screen I guess now it's auto it's auto toad oh you gotta this isn't really auto Mario I'm still like inputting stuff okay I'm still holding down I guess it's like, hold down Mario. I guess that's still auto, right? The game, well, the game's not automatically playing itself. I still gotta hold down. Okay, here's the auto part. Hopefully the bitrate doesn't die, because I'm pretty sure it's going to. And hopefully the, uh, everything else is not bad. Pretty cool level. Interesting how short some of these levels actually are. But, uh, like, it takes so long to make these, I imagine. But, it, you know, they go down in, like, a second. So that was pretty cool. Next one is just a themed single player done in 28 seconds, which leads me to believe that it's not that big of a course. Which is, uh, pretty, pretty nice. You know, not spending the entire video playing one course. Okay, what is this? Is this like another inducing, not inducing, why did I say that? Like another, uh, another bitrate video? A bitrate video? That's what these are, bitrate game, I mean. But yeah, YouTube's compression is gonna have a field day with this, I can already tell you. So I guess this is like kind of like another auto Mario, except I'm still holding forward and all that which i don't think i need to necessarily but you know what pretty cool nonetheless if we do get more of these types of levels where it's mainly like an auto course then i'll probably skip it because you know i actually do want to play somewhat but yeah that was cool it was like auto mario but not because you still had to move a little bit i don't know pretty interesting level oh we got one second behind boohoo <laughs> probably because i I stood in one spot for like a second, a quick second, but anyway, uh, is this just, okay, these look like auto type levels, just based on, 
you know, like the way that they look. So this is the mysterious poison swamp. I, I just skipped the last three levels because they kind of looked like more of an, you know, that like they looked like more auto levels. So I just skipped them. Uh, can you, you can't step on that. I need to play more link levels. That's what I need to do. What am I doing? Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, what is... How? Okay. This. I, I need to know. I require your knowledge. Okay, we jump up here, right? Okay. How how do you do this? I assume we're like... I, I don't even understand. I can see why this got popular. I wonder how long this took to make. Jeez. Like these levels, like I could understand how to make some of the other ones, but how how on earth are you doing this? This game never ceases to surprise me. Nintendo hire some of these individuals. Let's see how much more. Uh, checkpoint. Uh, save. Yes, this is a save. I assume there's gonna be like poison, uh, poison, poison, poison mushroom somewhere. Because it is the poison swamp, right? We need the poison mushrooms. Or are there no poison mushrooms in this theme? Because I do know that only some themes will have the. Like, only some themes have, you know, certain things. I don't even care that this is, like, really easy. I just, uh. I just like the concept. That's what I like. Oh no, what is this? Oh wait, we have fire flower. Wait, that's a flagpole. How? Like, how do you do this? That's just gonna be the title of the video. How? Seems like there's a sequel, cause there's a pipe. Or maybe he's working on one. I honestly have no idea. But yeah, the mysterious poison swamp. That seems pretty cool. I'm looking through his uploaded courses, and I'm not seeing it too much, but I did see one that was called the Mysterious Lava Castle. Yeah, here we go. So I'm not sure if this is, like, the same concept. Maybe this is, like, the sequel, although I don't really know. This guy has a lot of uploaded courses, so let's see what this is. I know this is deviating from the, you know, popular courses, but I had to know if this guy had something else. Yeah, it's basically the same thing, but it's lava. I still want to know how you do this. Like, obviously, there's something happening while the lava's all the way up, but it's like, what? What? <laughs> Little do I know, it's probably some, like, easy thing. It, it just looks really impressive, because I haven't actually sat down and played this game, besides the uh, previous video, and... Probably over a year, so I, I'm not sure, dude. People have uh, cool stuff. Like, people are just, uh, people are wizards when it comes to this game, right? So I'm not exactly sure how uh, you would even beat the best record, because this seems to be like a, you know, it's like a timed thing, right? Like, you can't progress past a certain point, and I died, because I am bad at video games. Let's try that one more time, this time without the oops. Hopefully. There we go. Oh, I missed the 50 coins. Of course I died right before the save. That just That's just how this works, right? This seems, yeah, this is like literally the same. This part as opposed, well not as opposed, but like, you know, the same to the uh, swamp one. Not sure why I'm using all the wrong words in the dictionary to describe anything that I'm doing. But yeah, it, like, the layout is literally the same. At least this part. The other part was new. It's just after the save, it's just, you know, seems like it's the same as the Swamp one. Okay, um, I guess we gotta take the intentional hit. Wait, the, the level ended. That's weird, a forced hit. What is this? Thanks. Well, thank you for making such a, such a cool course. 
Back to the popular courses, we have the Fire Bar Speedrun. So this is a speedrun, obviously. 20 second speedrun, it says in parentheses. Speedruns are cool. Because at least I know of what I'm doing, kind of. You just gotta, you know, hold forward and press A. That's all this is. And even though you think you're gonna die, you're not gonna die. As long as you follow the coins to victory, then you're good. Like I said, I don't, like, I want to know how long it takes people to make these. Like, how do you, you know, like, how would you line up the fire bars? Like, how much trial and error would you have to go through just to do that, you know? Because it's those fire bars where they're so close to hitting Mario or whichever character you're using, and they don't. And it's like, I could do that, but that would take, like, my entire life to do that. So we have the Mario minigames puzzle solving. Oh, this is cool. Beat all the minigames and be the best minigame player. Well, I do suck at minigames. Maybe I can show that I'm the the worst minigame player around. Maybe that's something that I can show you guys. So we have uh, te tennis. Yes, I, I don't know why it took me so long to read that. Um, Tennis. Oh, I, di <laughs> I didn't realize I was supposed to hit this. Uh... This is interesting. So I, I assume at like a certain point, it's gonna like, uh, it's gonna like automatically just give me the thing, right? There we go. Oh, we gotta do it three times. Okay, where's the shell? Man, it's like, how do people think of these? You know, it's like, I would never in a million years think of this. Why are there just like fish being shot out? I don't even know. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm. I gotta be, like, you still have to time this, right? God dang it. Okay, that's two. At least, uh, he can get as many points as he wants, and I can just keep on missing, and it won't even matter. The only thing that matters is the time limit, I guess. Which I assume there's no checkpoint, so if I lose this, then I'll just have to... Like, just redo the entire thing, which is going to be a blast. So, uh, boxing. Thought that said boing. Same thing, I guess. So we have, uh, boxing against Boom Boom. Oh wait, you can... For some reason I thought that was a background element. That messed me up a little bit. There we go. Next one is, uh, bowling. How, how do you bowl in this? Um... Wait, how? Let me see. So we hit that. Okay, okay. Now, now I understand. I under gets. <laughs> uh, there we go. Nope. Timing is something that I'm like I can't do in like any game. I I just suck at timing anything. Uh, do that. Okay, wait. That's a slam. Like a a, a ramp. I was gonna say a slam. Same thing, I guess. Whatever. So, 351 seconds on the clock. We have it save. That's the, the best minigame, I guess, is the save minigame. So, we have a spot. So, I guess it's like spot the difference or something like that. Um, oh, I'm stupid. I just realized this one doesn't have like a little square. That took me like 20 seconds to figure out. I'm like, what am I doing? Uh, let's see, uh, two stars, two stars, yeah, this one, well, this one doesn't have the blue square. This one was more obvious just because of the color, I guess. I don't know, for some reason I just couldn't see the other color, so what is this? Uh, I don't, I went through too quick, I didn't read it. Oh, archery, I guess it was. Wait, where, oh, I'm here. Hmm. At least this seems to be a little bit easier than the bowling. I say that and I immediately do that, dude. I'm so good at this game. I don't know why, but it it's like triggering it's triggering me that the shell does not line up with the bounce pad. Like it's just off to the side a little bit. Next mini game we have oh we have the win mini game. That's my favorite one. So I slightly embarrassed myself on the minigames, so you can see 
Well, if anything, this one game just showed how bad my timing skills are and whatnot. A minute 35. <laughs> I did it so slow. Uh, don't trust your instincts. Uh, that's not... Your, whatever. Instincts. Yes. Uh, okay, it says go down. I'm gonna say don't go down. I'm gonna say go over here. Hmm. Well, it said don't trust your instincts. I, I don't know why I thought... You know what? I, I'm I'm amazing at video games. So we're gonna not trust our instincts, and we're gonna we're gonna go down here because for some reason we just don't die. Nice. So we gotta do what we don't think to do, which um hmm. I'm gonna go this way, and it's gonna be wrong. Yes, it was wrong, because I'm always wrong in life. I don't know, I just went that way because it had more stuff in it, so I thought it was, like, I thought it wouldn't be, like, the logical choice, or whatever. Where am I? Oh. I don't know how that works, but that's cool. Um, hey, a checkpoint already. Um, okay, we somehow got it. I, I kind of just ran. Uh, let's see, left to right, left to right, left to right. I mean, it would seem like... Like, it would seem like a right, because... Let me just see. Probably gonna be wrong. Was I supposed to jump? I think I was supposed to jump, and I... No. Got a Koopa Clown card that I can't get, even though it's almost stationary. There's two doors. I don't know why there's two doors. Um... So how much do you want to bet this one is a trick? Like, this way is going to be the correct way, even though this way is obviously, like, wrong. Watch this, watch. Okay, never mind. I thought he was going to trick me at the last second. That one was obvious, right? So, final. Okay, you're going to test my... You're going to test my intelligence? With a boss battle? Um... Let's... Let, uh, let, let's go this way, just because... Yes, I did it. I'm gaming right now, dude. Well, that was cool. Hey, a Christmas tree. Um, that's supposed to say something, probably. Oh, it says thanks. THX. I didn't even see that. I was looking at, like, the beautiful picture in the background. Not the THX. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. There was actually some pretty cool levels, some pretty cool... Uh, gimmicks that I didn't even know that were possible to do in Mario Maker. But yeah, that was uh, just Mario Maker popular courses. We did deviate a little bit from the one guy. I think this is the same person, is it not? Maybe it's not. But anyway, I'm going to stop this right now. So I'll see you guys later and I'll see you in the next video.